Cast Iron Cooking with Johnny. Hi there, welcome to Cast Iron Cooking with Johnny. I am Johnny and these are my cast irons. Today we are going to tackle the almighty pork chop. Now as you can see, this is a bone-in pork chop. It's got this nice elegant bone here. All the meat here is gonna be super juicy and I love cooking these. When this thing comes out of the oven, you're gonna see all of this fat nice and crispy. The bone's gonna be roasted. It's gonna be really beautiful. Now it doesn't really matter whether you're cooking a bone-in pork chop or a boneless pork chop. You're just gonna need to adjust the cooking time a little to keep your eye on it. Now as far as dressing this pork chop, we're gonna keep it really simple. Salt and pepper, we're gonna do some garlic, and we're gonna do some rosemary. Now before we get started on that, we're gonna take a little history lesson on when the pork chop was invented. The pork chop lends its fame to ancient Babylonian roots. Meat collectors from far off lands discovered the Babylonians primarily used their pigs for transportation. Once taught the value of pork for consumption, the Babylonians soon discovered that the meat was, in fact, very delicious. I really need to fire that guy. Let's get back to the pork chop. So now we're gonna get started on setting our pork chop up. First off, we're just gonna move our things around, try to find some space. Get this husk off here. All right, give this a little bit of a smash and then we're just gonna dice it up like this. Now I also like to, once I've already diced it, give it more of a smash and then pull a little bit on the knife and get some of those oils out of the garlic clove. And now for our rosemary, we don't need a ton. And we're gonna reserve some to put as a sprig on the pork chop before we put it in the oven. As you can see, my cutting board here also shimmies a little with the music. That looks great. All right, now we're just gonna take a dish here and we're gonna put our garlic and rosemary in. We're gonna add some olive oil to it. And that way we can just mix that around and use it as a rub for the chop. So before we're gonna do that, we're gonna salt and pepper the chop on both sides. And I can't stress enough that an under salted chop is just not as tasty. What I do is give that a pat, make sure it gets into the meat. And then we're gonna flip it and do the same. It looks like this chop has just the right amount of seasoning on it. So we're gonna go ahead and take out about half of what's in your bowl and just work it in. You wanna make sure all of the meat is covered in the oil as well because we're not gonna add any oil to our pan. This side, it's looking good. All right, now that our pork chop is dressed and ready to cook, we're gonna set our oven to 375. We're gonna preheat our pan in there. You know, you can do this before you start, but I like to just make sure I'm ready to go before I preheat. It gives more time for the meat to temper. You wanna leave your meat out for, you know, about half an hour to an hour if you can, if you have the time, because it's gonna ensure that the inside gets cooked evenly. And today I'm gonna use a number six Griswold here. You can use any size pan you want. I'm only cooking one chop, so I'll use a pan that is appropriate for that, we're gonna end up frying up the pork chop on one side, flipping it, and then roasting it for the rest of it. And we're gonna do it for about 20 minutes, but you can decide whether or not you wanna do it for less or more, depending on how you like your pork chop. Okay, oven is preheating, pan is preheating, and now we wait and let this meat temper a little more. <sighs> Looks like our pan is ready, so let's get started. All right, our pan is set at a medium high heat. That's gonna ensure a nice sear on the pork chop before we go to roast it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this in. Now when that pork chop first goes in, we're gonna keep it there for about three to five minutes. That's gonna get a nice brown sear on the outside of the pork chop. You're not gonna wanna move it around. It's gonna naturally lift off the pan when it is ready to be lifted. It's gonna have that nice brown coating on the outside of the meat. Like I said, about three to five minutes. Let's get this pork chop a flip here. Now we're gonna go ahead and put some garlic and rosemary on top. We're gonna throw it into the oven we're gonna let this thing roast for about 20 minutes. 
Now the internal temperature you're shooting for is between 135 and 145 because you're going to let that meat rest for about five minutes after removing it from the oven. And it's going to continue to cook while it sits. If you want to keep it in the oven for longer, you can, but you do risk having a drier chop. So we'll slide it in the oven here and then we'll wait. All right, our pork chop is ready to come out of the oven. I actually checked it at 15 minutes and it seemed just about right. And that's what I meant by adjusting the time. You never know, each pork chop is different. You can check it every five minutes if you want to. And this one, even though I thought it'd be 20, was about 15. So just keep an eye on your pork chop as you roast it. All right, let's pull it out and see how it goes. And would you look at that, perfect. So you're gonna have that crispiness around the edges here. You're gonna have crispiness on that roasted bone. These garlic pieces are very nicely done. You're gonna see that you have some roasted garlic on there that you can chop up and slice up if you wanna serve it with your pork chop. Now you can serve this on a plate, you can serve it as is. It's a beautiful piece, it's got great presentation. So that about wraps up this video on the pork chop cast iron basics. Thanks for watching, I am Johnny, and this is Cast Iron Cooking with Johnny, and I will catch you later.